Right, if I can get this steady the camera. This is Le Mans 24 on the Dreamcast. As you can see, it looks pretty decent. In fact, it is pretty decent. I remember having this on the PlayStation. And I actually tried the 24-hour um, thing. I think I got about four hours before getting bored. <laughs> Not that it's a crap game, it's just there's a long... It, it's a big ask, in it? Right. Let's show some tracks. Looks-wise, it's pretty decent. I mean, yeah, you're not going to compare it to the Gran Turismo 5, but <laughs> this is 10 years old, for God's sake. It looks fantastic. It can easily compare with some of the races today, or compete, I should say. Some nice-looking cars here. Yeah, that one. I thought I'd seen in Newcastle colours and the football team. Vorder Comp. Was that Vorder Four or not? Right, which one am I going to pick? This one. Intermediate, yeah. Right, we'll try... Uh, Donington. Now, if my memory serves me right, these cars are, I mean, from the PlayStation version, anyway, these cars are, can be hard to control. They feel a bit like and spongy. It's looking really decent. How many camera angles? One, two, four. Well, as you can see, it looks fine. Yeah, it is. the cars are a bit, whoa, light. But I mean, you can tune them up in the, you know, in the, the sort of garbage thing they got. You know, this looks really great. For something that's over a decade old. She's looking and playing really good. Grand, as they say. Wow. So uh, there's different choices. You can do the, the, the 24 hour thing, or you can do the races. Now, the famous Dunlop tyre. You can do championship races, quick races, time trials, what I'm doing now. Alright, I've got anything. Anyway, let's go and have a. Let's go and have a shift at the other ones. Four quid. Can't be bad, can it? I, would, I really recommend getting this game if you have a Dreamcast. Let's change the car then. That looks pretty mean. Suzuka, Le Mans. I don't have many tracks. I'm not sure if you can open different ones. Right, we'll try Suzuka East. I'm not sure if the, if you can open up different tracks as you progress through the game. But uh, this time here, there's four. So I film a video doing the 24 hours? <laughs> well, this car started. Oh. Oh, no, it went. I say this would have the slight edge over the other Dreamcast race, the Ferrari Challenge. And that's a brilliant race in itself. But I think this is a slight edge over it. Fairest wheel in the distance. It's funny, but I've driven this track on so many different games that I know it back to front, even though I, I don't look as if I know it back to front by going on the sides all, all the time, because... But it feels I know this track. It's the back of my hand. You can see 
see the little guy in the, you can see the driver too. Now, I know I might seem shocked at that, but loads of these racing games, especially back in the day, you just saw the empty cockpit as they were. But you see the little dude. Cute touch. Yeah, this looks great. Look at all the advertising logos and this Sam Kenwood and everything. And it does look, for the record, it obviously does look better than the PlayStation version. The PlayStation obviously less powerful. Still a great console. Fantastic console. So as you can see, this uh, it's a fine game.